Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Friday Night Live. My name is Dion Woods. I'm the owner and artist at the Turquoise Cyrus, and this is where I hang out on Friday nights at 8.30 Central Time. Um, this week, we are bringing on two very lovely business owners who are running creative businesses online, um, Miss Bobby and Diane, both of which are in my Empowered by Design coaching group. Part of their challenge coming up in the social media module is to come on here with me and uh, tell a little bit about themselves, which is awkward, um, introduce themselves to you guys, tell everybody where they are, and you guys get to show up and show your love and support, which I am so appreciative. Um, hi, Lisa, Papa Mac and Irene, Josie's DIY, Jessica's here. How are you guys? Um, I know without a shadow of the doubt, you guys have been killing it um, in a good way. That's a good thing. When the kids say it, it, it that's a good thing. Uh, Cheryl, how are you? Uh, but I know, I mean, some of you are doing big things. It's been really hectic week. We're leaving next week on Wednesday. And so you know what it's like trying to get out of town, uh, do a workshop, uh, make sure everybody's informed of all the things. Hello, Miss Josie. Hi, Rob. Colleen is here as well. Hey, Miss Malia, how are you, sister? Uh, Lisa Dixon's here. So listen, all right, um, here's the thing. So many of you have been working so hard. So Bobby, when you get on here and Diane, when you guys get on here, Come by, say hello, um, let me know that you're on, and I'm going to pull you guys up. So part of their challenge during our mentorship is that they have to go live. Uh, Diane goes live. She's gone live a few times. Bobby, I don't think so. This may be your first time. So if you guys want to give her love and support, that would mean everything to me. Um, I know some of you have... This, this month's been big. Some of you have opened up brick and mortars. Some of you have started paint lines. Some of you have, um, you know got a booth space. Some of you have had your first workshop. Some of you have uh, launched your website. Some of you are doing big, huge, scary things. And I just want to say, good job. You are seen. We all see you. We all love you and we're supporting you. And um, it's super fantastic. All the things that are going on. Diane, there you are, girl. I'll see you on Facebook. Um, I'm going to see where if Bobby pops on, we'll get her on first. And then everybody will meet Miss Diane Devine as well. Uh, Jacqueline, how are you? My Michelle's on. Hello. Kathy Anderson, how are you? Meg's here. You guys, if y'all aren't catching Meg on her, on her Facebook page, you need to catch her every Thursday night. Uh, Irma, how are you, girl? We're going to meet next week. Finally. Irma, no nickname. Hi, Shelly Ross. Thanks for the good tips today. There's Patty Levine. Um, all right. So other things that are going on. Tell me what's going on with you guys. No comfort zone. That's right. Part of the part of the module. Hi, Mama. Part of the modules um, we're in right now is staging and photography. And we're getting ready to jump into for our sixth module, which will be social media, where we go over TikTok and Reels and Pinterest and um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all the socials. And um, I know I'm so excited. Irma's coming with her daughter, you guys. Has anybody on here met Irma? Or do I get to be like when Gavin's coming with his dad? Uh, so those of you that are coming out to, to Debbie's store, Looking forward to seeing you. The weather's supposed to be much cooler than it is here in the Midwest, in Oklahoma and Kansas and Texas. We are heating up. Clarissa, how are you? Can't wait to visit with you next week. I think it's next week, right? All right, guys. So, hey, Tammy. Hello, hello. Those of you um, that have replied, to my stories today about the creative connection guys we open up july 1st we just open up once every quarter so every three months boop boop um irma you're in california what's it like it's 96 here today not that i want to like have a it's hotter here argument with you uh sedona has highs of 106 when it should be in the 80s so it's an it's unusually hot just does that mean there's no bike riding going on today? Irma says 89. You're right. That is pretty warm. Okay, Irma. <laughs> but 106, Josie has his feet with that dry heat in Sedona. Hi, Karen. I'm glad you're on here. Hi, Sandy and Betty and Lois. Janet from Another Planet. 
I think here in Wisconsin, it was 95. Super hot too. Definitely early. Melanie Whitaker. How are you, my friend? I haven't talked to you in so long. All right. Let me guys, let you guys know, or let me know when you see Bobby, Bobby comment, and I'm going to post the link right here. There she is. I'm going to post the link right now. Um, and what I want you to do, Bobby, is just click it and follow the prompts. And uh, you can trust this group of people here to be supportive. Um, Bobby lives in Upper State, Michigan, where she gets like, I don't know, how many feet of snow can one state possibly get? <laughs> but um, she also enjoys us the beach. And um, she's got something I want you guys to tell. I'm going to have you her tell you guys about a few things. Um, San Jose was 95. Guys, I'm getting ready to release, release a brand new video. You guys remember Monarch, Mar Monarch Meadow that we did? Um, well, my, my dear friend Kristen Calhoun has cut, taken the six hours of content and put it down to 30 minutes for you all. So if you want to watch that play, as soon as we get off here, I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Uh, Bobby has been on here, hasn't she? Nope, Bobby hasn't. But it is her birthday because I got the notification. <laughs> so she's probably already gone out to dinner and is back home. Bobby, if you'll just click that link and let me know if you have any problems at all. Oh, Tara. Happy birthday, Bobby. So anyway, new video coming out for Monarch Meadow. Uh, Kristen took it. She pulls like these little, these little, um, bloopers out and outtakes too. Here we go. This is Miss Bobby. Hello. And she's in her tiara. Today's my birthday tiara. I know. It's her birthday. Everybody, happy birthday to Bobby, okay? Thanks. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. I'm looking at comments. Girl, have you already gone out to dinner tonight? Um, actually went out for breakfast this morning and then I've been home ever since just doing stuff around the house. So, yeah. Well, good. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for coming on here with me tonight. Thank uh, you. Tell, tell everybody where you are, your business name and a little bit about what you do. Okay. I am Bobby Shirey. I'm the owner of Bobby's Dreams and Designs. I live in uh, Michigan's Upper Peninsula. And if you know where that's at, the very tip, the very northernmost tip of Michigan is a Copper Harbor. And I live like 35 miles south of Copper Harbor. So, yeah, we get 360 inches of snow in the wintertime. Yeah. That is ridiculous. Guys, she would take a walk and she would post like her little, her walk with her dog. And her roads, of course, were covered in snow. But the piles on the side of the road were taller than her. Yes. And, um, and it's beautiful. Her trees and everything. It's just absolutely beautiful. And she has some stunning artwork on the walls behind her. And since this is Friday Night Live, I want you to meet our guest and find out more about what Bobby does there and how she got started and all of that. Um, so, Bobby. Yes. First, before we go any further, kind of tell everybody what you've been up to in the last six months and kind of about your business and everything like that. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> a lot, <laughs> a lot. Yes. I, um, joined the empowerment group and it's been wonderful with all these creative, talented, talented people, um, busy trying to, um, build our businesses and, um, become better artists. <laughs> and Figuring then trying to, to market yourself That's market trick. ourselves and uh yeah it's been really tough lately for me uh the market started here in calumet last weekend so right. between that and uh the jewelry that i make with the sand and stuff in it yes. i have orders for them uh so many places i never imagined that i would be that busy so i've been trying to keep up with that and then oh then watching replays and so yeah it's Last week was the first market and we were busier last week than we had all last year. And uh, so, so what I, kind of market is it? It's, an, um, it's a craft it's a food, to create market. It's farmer's market. There's uh, they try to do three to one ratio, three uh, like three farmers or three food vendors for every one artisan. So I have a dual booth. So I have 
baked goods, which I realized if I do that, it brings people to my booth for my art stuff. So um, it's not that I want to bake, but it does bring them to my booth. So I'm really excited this week. I have note cards that I had printed with all of my artwork on it. Right. Of course, my jewelry, hand painted jewelry and, and my sand jewelry. And uh, I'm, I'm going to get some of that sand jewelry. And I want to feature the sand jewelry, you guys, in issue five of the Turquoise Iris Journal because um, it's just very special. And what's the story behind your sand ju ju uh, jewelry? So we traveled a lot and um, it got to be where I didn't want to bring home uh, souvenirs. So I started bringing home sand and seashells. And then I thought uh, my favorite place in the world is Mackinac Island. My husband loves the Caribbean. So Mackinac Island, we always go every fall, unfortunately not last year, but I have a sand charm with Mackinac Island sand in it. So I have it with me. It's on me all the time. Aww. So part of the island is always with me. So that's how I started it. Uh, so that, you know, your favorite place in the world, you can have a piece of it with you. Now, this one is a pendant that I made. Um, we were in St. Kitts and we found this coin, but it wasn't a coin that was sal salvageable. It's got patina on it. It's really cool. And so there's a seashell and then there's some of the sand. And so it's one of my favorite pendants. So people send me sand from all over and I put it in keychains, bracelets, necklaces, earrings. Oh, so. that's fantastic. Yeah. Patty says Mackinac Island. I cannot wait to visit there. Me too, Patty. So I have never heard of it until I started having my one hour coaching calls with her. And she told me it was her favorite place. So when we got off the call, I looked it up and I'm like, Matt, look at this little place. We need to go there, honey. We need to go there. It's uh, just, it just sounds, it just looks picturesque. It's just, it is wonderful. Yeah. I think I sent you a video once too about it. I think like, you there's did. No cars. It's just bikes and horses, buggies. It's just a really peaceful, um, it's like stepping back in time and it feeds my soul. You know, as an artist, it, when I go there, I take my watercolors or my chalk or whatever and just park myself somewhere and go to town. So, yeah. And now before you got into your business here, you were a hairdresser for a very long time. Very long time, almost 39 years. And I, um, I hadn't painted in that long. I hadn't drawn, I haven't done anything with art in that long. I worked um, long to hours. I mean, I would work six days a week, you know, 10, 12 hour days. Um, what happened was I had shoulder surgery and couldn't go back to work. I had some complications. And so um, I just got up one day. I had this vision and I got up and I, I had an old canvas or something evidently and started painting. And when I first started painting, I painted angels and I painted them like I would get this picture of an angel and I had to put it on canvas. And what do you yeah. mean you got a picture of an angel? Mm, either I dreamt about it or just a vision of an angel came to me. And so I started and I sold them like as fast as I could paint them. I was selling angels. I went to craft shows. I remember one night um, I went to bed and I like an hour and a half later got up because I had this picture in my head of an angel. And I knew that someone the next day needed this angel. So I got up and painted her. And sure enough, the next day, somebody came to my booth and said, oh, my gosh, that's my mom. She just passed away like six weeks ago. Yeah, it was. I even wrote on the back of it. Somebody needs this angel tomorrow. Yeah. So angels were my thing. And I love painting angels. But of course, I want to paint other things. But so I would people would contact me to paint angels for them. Of and so particular people. Yeah, like they had lost someone or, um, yeah, it was, that's pretty special. It's a um, very spiritual thing yeah. when I'm painting my angels. So, so I would assume this would be also be Bobby, something that was hard for you to do. Sometimes. Yeah. There were some of them that were hard. Um, there was one in particular that I painted. I had never met this woman. I was going to meet her. She had a store where I used to live and I wanted to sell my art there. 
And so um, I just got this feeling of an angel that I had to paint. And it was a, a male. It wasn't a female. It was a male. And so a few days later, when I went to meet her, I had it all wrapped up. And I was really nervous. Like, I don't know how she's going to take this. You know, some people believe, some people don't. Yeah. <clears throat> and I said, do you believe in angels? And she goes, oh, absolutely. I said, well, I have something for you. I don't think it's for you. It's for someone that you know. And so I gave it to her. And long story short, it was her daughter's fiance who had died in an accident uh, like nine months before. And it, it was so weird. Even like what he was wearing in the painting, it was navy blue. I had never painted navy blue on an angel before. He was a police officer. Um, there was just so many things. I know. Chili Willies just now. They went. His, there had to be a heart in his hand. And the, the significant was that is that he always told her that she held his heart. So the other daughter was at the store when I was giving it to them. And she looked at it and she said, oh, my gosh. Looked at it. And in part of the navy blue, it said hi. Like somebody had taken something and I never saw it. She goes, it says hi right there. It said hi. And she said they had a thing like they would do back and forth on Snapchat about telling each other hi. Yeah. It's kind of funny. So I had a few of those with people that I painted, you know, they'd reach out and paint their special someone. And sometimes I get messages, sometimes I don't. And but but I have lots of other artwork too. <laughs> um yeah, no, you have a lot of artwork and you've branched out since then. Patty would like to know when did you do that painting, Bobby? She says she has a dear friend who went through the same thing. Um do you remember how long ago? It's probably been two years ago. And he was from the Grand Rapids area where we used to live. Okay. All right. So we'll see what uh, what she says about that. Uh, that would be really odd if it were the same person. Mm -hmm. So, Bobby, do yes. you feel like being a stylist... If I go any further on that topic, I will get emotional. And I'm like, I got emotional. That's why I just said, I have lots of other artwork. We need I know. We're like, okay. Um, it is so special, you guys. And I want to say something about Bobby before we go, but um, I will hold that for just a second. Do you feel like being a hairdresser, which is sometimes a therapist, has helped you become a better artist and a better business owner, a better creative and, and right where you are right here in this space. Oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. And it is uh, being a hairstylist, you are a therapist. You're, and I, Charlie would always say, you know, the, the hair is what costs the therapy was for free, but um, <laughs> right. Yeah. And I value and, and just treasure the time that I had with all my clients for those many years, but it's time for me to do new things. And they know that they're happy for me. For sure. Yeah. Janet's on here. Janet Fowler, Janet from another planet. She is also a hairstylist right now. Um, so, but she likes to come out and create. Uh, Patty says, amazing how many stories there are like that. This person is from New Jersey. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, they would like to see some of the paintings up close. Josie Seeker is also asked, like, can we see some of those up there? And do you sell them? And um, Jeannie answered and said, yes, she does. I do. Yes. Let's see. Um, I just finished this one a couple days ago. And it's, I have lupine growing all around my house. And so this is. Um, Look, you guys, all you finger painters. She's got the lupine on there. Is that what you guys did? Yeah, we did that. We did yeah. Lupine, our, our first our first module. It's the only one we've done. So I posted this in the um, in a UP Upper Peninsula Facebook page, and it sold. Like I think as of an hour ago, there were seventeen hundred likes or loves, and a lady from Southern Michigan bought it, and she doesn't want me to ship it. She wants me to let her know when I'm going back downstate so we can meet. So Aww. that's kind of cool. And she this is the artist. I love that, Bobby. 
I do a lot of palette painting. Uh, I love palette knives. And this, um, when I was in high school, I did a lot of stippling. And so this to me reminds me of the stippling because I just, I like skim the canvas and get little dots. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, absolutely. I love using the palette knives where, yeah. and that's what I love is because the texture pulls the paint right off and does the hard work for yep. you. This one's where happiness grows. Okay. Um, this up here Thank was, um, I started those probably, well, four years ago. And I call them wing and waves because there's actually angel wings sideways. And then the, the beach. Oh. So there's texture in there. Yeah. And then you've this been is, using a lot of texture lately. It's really beautifully done. I do. I like a lot of texture. So this is a sunset, but there's an angel, textured angel underneath. Really, really textured. Oh, yeah, I see it. Look at that, you all. And then pink roses. I don't, I did those, I don't know, a few weeks ago. Bobby, those are beautiful. Come closer to that. Look at that, you all. Look at that. Josie wants to see the one up top above the flowers up top. The flowers? Oh, yeah, this right one. here. Yeah. Yep. Beautiful. Charlie calls those lollipop flowers. Lollipops. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's a local flower shop. One day last summer when I was here before we moved here, I bought a bouquet of flowers and painted that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Well, um, Jeannie, will you, if, if Michelle's not on here anymore, will you grab her link real quick for her business page? Oh, Michelle's here. Michelle, will you grab that link for Bobby's <laughs> dreams and design, dreams and designs? It's dreams and designs, right? Yes. Yes. The funky lady. She's got a lot of texture. Lots. Um, and then I do um, paintings and I actually put sand in it. Like this is like Michigan sand. I love incorporating sand. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then. And then your crosses and some of your angels. Angels up there. And this is, yep, I have. Um, canvas prints of this I sell quite a few and this one is mm, I don't know who she belongs to Oops. I always think that the angels are some ones that they just haven't found them yet so you sometimes you do them and you're not really sure who they're for so you kind of just wait for them to find you yeah like this one is a I think it's a grandmother holding a baby yeah wow um they love your angels birch trees because we have a lot of birch trees here thank you michelle um my friends always say when i die they are going to put my ashes inside of paint Ooh, <laughs> delisa <laughs> how do you do your canvas prints um so she just, she sends her image, she has prints done, and then she puts them up on her website for people to buy. Um, there we go. Derek says your paintings are stunning. Thank you, Derek. I appreciate it. So let's talk right before we go a little bit about your actual process. Um, as far as you sit down at a canvas, are you one that, that works better with an image? Um, and if anybody wants any of those paintings, you all, or you want to look at them closer, you can go to her website and I've posted the link. Uh, Michelle has it from YouTube and Facebook. Jeannie grabbed it there too. You guys, thank you for helping us all out. We're, we're a village here, all helping. Thank you. <laughs> um, and, oh, my the, butter, the butterflies. Oh, the butterflies. Yeah. Yes. Danielle Kaminsky <laughs> wants to see those. Can you, you probably can't reach them. Look at all of that color, you all. Ooh, you're better than butterflies than me, girl. That was for um, the last month's challenge. You know, we had to do the, um, I got these, purple. Oh, there's purple flowers, you all. Look at that. Who's my purple lovers? Purple roses. Yeah. I know who are purple lovers right there. <laughs> um, yeah, the butterflies were for last month's challenge our may challenge after i painted that butterfly the monarch meadow i was like wait a minute this is kind of good and it was a challenge for me yeah. so i challenged the group to do an insect or even i let them do a bird even because i just it, it was hard uh yes they love it they love it michelle says she absolutely loves your work 
Um, that's crazy cool to dream something and then be able to put it on a canvas like your angels. Yeah, my angels just come like it just I don't know where it comes from. I don't have a, a picture or anything. Um, a lot of my paintings, I get inspired. We live in such a beautiful place. I'm like, seriously, I'm, I have so, I think you said you had like 17,000 pictures on your phone. Like I'm almost there. I just, and I take the same picture of things all the time because every time you walk by it, depending on what time of the day it is, it always looks different. And so, you know, like an old barn or yeah. what we had, we have gorgeous sunsets here. And so I'm always taking, you know, pictures of sunset and, I don't it's know. Hard not just... to, I'm sure. I mean, even when things are covered with a white blanket of snow, it stayed that way for months and months for you. It's truly, truly beautiful. You may get sick and tired of it, but it is beautiful. <laughs> and then when it clears, oh my goodness, it's going to turn so green and beautiful there right. too. Um, so when you sit down to do a canvas, do you usually have a picture? Are you, um, does it, does it help you to have a picture to reference back or do you just start going? I usually just start going unless it's uh, like the lupines. You know, I literally put my canvas up in the middle of the lupines and sat out there until the mosquitoes were ready to drag me away. Oh, my goodness. So, and then I have, you know, like 50 pictures of lupines now so I can, you know, sit and inside and do paintings. But I like to be out. Like, I wanted to do that today, but the day just flew by. I didn't. You take like three walks a day, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Because of the we, dog. We took two today. Yeah, we did like five <laughs> miles today. Oh, my gosh. She's a walker, you guys. Laura, she lives in the UP, the upper peninsula of Michigan, in the very upper point. Is She missed where you were from. Yeah. Um, Calumet, Michigan. You can look it up. Google it. It's pretty far north. <laughs> yeah. We didn't always live here. We moved here last October by choice. Um we had bought this house a few years ago to fix and flip. Um, that's another thing I That's I another do. thing you do, you guys. Yeah. She, she fixes flip and flips house. homes. That's so then I fell in love with the house. My son lives here. And so we, you know, during COVID, everybody was willing to try something different. So we were just like, hey, what do you think about it's all and everything and moving north? And my husband was like, okay. Okay, nice. So our house sold in a, in a actually in an hour. And we packed everything up and moved here. And it's probably half the size of what our house was there. So we have, I have no space in the garage, like literally maybe four by six to actually paint out there oh my <laughs> because goodness. it's full of stuff. But we'll have well, a sale. We'll clean it out. It's too fun. Patty wants to know, have you always lived in Michigan? Always in Michigan. Just, we used to live in the Grand Rapids um area i'm from more the muskegon area by the lake shore so yeah yes it does get cold up there it does um there are many people on here who are just like you and i who would wake up every morning and see if the same flower we took a picture of yesterday but it looks a little different and it's yeah. a little bigger or it's a little brighter right. so we're going to take a picture of that too the sun's hitting it differently you know <laughs> exactly yes. exactly um Bobby had been in the creative connection for a while before we even really connected. She'd been on these lives, you guys, she'd been commenting and then she joined the empowerment group. Um, and I had the opportunity to pull her up and just the two of us talk um, and immediately fell in love with her heart. I immediately told her, I absolutely adore you. Um, not only is she talented, um, but just her presence even through the screen, made me feel warm and accepted and thought, this is the type of person that I could have a friend with for the rest of my life. This is this is who you're walking, looking at and talking to right now. So getting the opportunity to do the, what I get to do, I feel like I'm, I'm the lucky one. I'm the one getting so much out of this. Um, but I knew this would be a really good place to bring my girls on who've been working so hard um, and that you all would just be so encouraging. You guys are throwing out happy birthdays left and right. You don't Aww. know why. And I'm just... It's Thank so it, it's so good. Uh, Cheryl says she feels that too about you, Bobby, and it's your aura. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. You're very welcome. Um, Josie says she agrees as well. She's chatted privately and she loves you. Josie and I had a very nice talk the other day and she was very nice and sent me some brushes. And I appreciate it. 
Good. I was just thinking if you didn't have my palette knives, I need to get some. I actually wrote down Sin Bobby palette knives. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you crying? No. <laughs> I'm like, no, we're not crying, Bobby. No, we're, we're not, not crying. <laughs> Listen, girl, I love you. Love you too. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's even better. She is the best. Uh, she is the best. I think you got a family member, Monica, on here with you. Oh, that she's my sweet daughter-in-law. Yes. I love her dearly. Well, you are uh, pretty lucky, Monica. So I will let you go. We'll pull up Miss Diane. This was so much fun. It I was. thought this was a good treat to the end of your birthday day. It was wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. We'll talk to you soon, okay? All right. Thanks. Have a good night. Absolutely. Everybody, if you are catching this on the replay, I would love, love, love if you would click that link to Bobby's Facebook page. Go like and follow her. Um, and we might very well catch her doing a live one of these days on her own page. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. All right. We'll see you Bye. later. Bye. Bye. All right. Thank you, everybody. Y'all are so good. Karen's on here, too. Danielle's on here. Um, all these other Empowered by Design. Now, Diane Devine, we're so ready to talk to you, too. Um, so if you're here, um, Laura says so she's already liked Bobby's page. Thank you so much for that. If you're just tuning in, I'm here every Friday night at 8.30 Central Time to do Friday Night Live. I know, Sissy, we're not ready yet. Okay. I know, Cheryl. So there's the link, Miss Diane. Um, you're going to love her too. There's Erin Norris. She, every time I talk to her, she has a crown on. And um, she's like, it's, you know, why not? I get to treat myself this way and I'm going to wear the crown. I think it's so fun. So special. Um, let's see. I know she was on here a second ago. Barbara Standards, how are you? I think it is too. From my, Abby wants to go to bed. I know she does. She she may want to go out. Do you need to go outside? Do you need to go outside? Her dad's on the other side there. You bet I can, Diane. I will post it right here. I see that Diane is here. She is the owner and artist at Faith Field Furniture. Um, she has written a book that is being in the works that will be out and published. And um, it's been a long time coming. She's been pouring her heart into a book. And um, Cheryl, is she? No, it's divine. It's divine. It's Diane Divine, Faith-Filled Furniture. Yes. She's also in our Empowered by Design group. And she has been working so hard to build her creative business during her full-time job. Uh, these women are, are working so incredibly hard. I have a hat like that, not hate. Oh, Lori, you have a hat like this. Okay, Diane, do you see the link, sister? Give, give us just a minute, you guys. Stick around if you can. I want you to hear from a beautiful friend, beautiful friend Diane, as well as we send Bobby off to have a end of her rest of her birthday. Next Friday, I need to remind you all that there will be no, no Friday night live. I will be um, at Debbie's shop. We may actually pop on during our VIP night, um, but we will be doing our VIP night for our fourth annual class at Debbie's Design Diary. I'll be at the DIY Go Go. And um, we will be, thank you, Michelle. I see that you grabbed the link and I appreciate you so much. Um, we will be going to, um, we'll be leaving Wednesday. The whole family's coming with me. Beauty friend, that should be a thing. That's a good one, Diane. Danielle, sorry. Yes, I don't think I have the StreamYard. Can you just ask me to join? You don't have to have StreamYard. Um, anybody can come on, Diane. Uh, you just, you click on the link and you copy it and then you paste it into your browser. Um, Bobby, since you were just on, if you um, are on, you wanna give her any, is that how it works? But it's, you don't need an app, you don't need anything. You just click the StreamYard. It's for every Friday night, we just pull anybody up. You don't have to have the app. You copy the link and then you paste it into your browser. 
Hi, Karen Denning. How are you? Uh, Derek, we're going to try. They're going to have they're going to have more fun than I am. I mean, not that working isn't fun, but it is a work trip for me. And so I get to come meet some of you guys. I get to meet uh, Irma. Um, there's so many of you that are coming that I get to meet. I get to see Crystal Molina again. Okay. Copy and paste. Click on the... Okay. Diane, click on the three dots on the bottom right corner, says Bobby. Um, when I'm using StreamYard, I can't like... I can't do it like a regular Facebook Live because we're also streaming on YouTube. And she went back to sleep. She's okay. So again, I just was going to remind you, as soon as we get off of here, I'm going to upload the new video that Kristen Calhoun has edited for us. The uh, Monarch Meadow with the butterfly. And um, she took all that six hours of content of me painting it and shortened it to 30 minutes. Uh, so I'm just really so grateful for that, that she has let me hire her to help me with some video editing and she does a fabulous job. She's known me for so long, so she knows my little quirks and, and she thinks Matt's funny. You want the link? All right, I'll post it again. Here we go, Diane. Um, how about, I'm going to do this with also, I'm going to send it through Michigan, um, through Michigan. I was reading Patty's comment. I'm going to send it through messenger. Also, you can also click it through messenger. I tell you what, um, it didn't work. It didn't work. I want to be ready for Sunday night. Would it be easier if I signed up for StreamYard? Um, I've never had anybody need to sign up for StreamYard. So if you have an iPhone, you should be perfectly fine, Josie, because I bring three or four or five people up every Friday night on here. Um, um, Josie, do you have an iPhone or an Android? So Josie's coming on with me because she and I have a huge announcement to make for you guys uh, that we're excited to share. And so I've asked Josie, who's the owner and artist of Paint Pixie, um, to come on here with me. And so when we show up Sunday night at 830, I will have, yeah, it works on the Android phones. That's right. Good. Okay, Josie, you should be fine, but I will send you the link beforehand um, also through, like, I'll just text it to you and you can just click it and then you just follow the prompts, do what it tells you to do. And if, yeah, I know a lot of the, the ladies have the Android, it works better. So Josie's going to come on with me because we have been hanging on to this announcement. Um, some of you probably know. Yep, just copy the link. Um, so hold you hold the link down in the comment, like put your finger on the link, hold it down, and then copy. And then you'll go up to your browser at the top of your phone, and you'll click it, tap it, and then paste. Um, if anybody is friends with her on here, if you will send it, send the link to her through Messenger. For some reason, I could not get it. Debbie must have heard her name. You guys don't want to miss Sunday night. We are so excited. We're completely excited. We are getting ready to um, to launch something very exciting, and uh, we're doing it together. And I can't wait to tell you all about it. So. Um, it's been, I don't know, since last August, I think we've been planning this. So it, it's time to reveal what we've been working on. Uh, Michelle, if you're on here, could you text Diane the link? Pretty please. <laughs> it has been a very long time. You won't find out till Sunday. Cheryl, I'm going to bring Josie on here. She and I are going to be on here like 
side by side in the screen. Um, Josie, I want her to thank you, Shelly Ross. I appreciate you. Uh, so if you could hear me, um, Diane, go ahead and just uh, go to your go to your Facebook Messenger. And don't worry, there's no reason to be fretting or anything like this. This is what the show is about. Um, working out those kinks, it's all going to be good. I promise you. It's going to be so good. Oh, no, don't be sorry, Diane. Not at all. See, let, check your DMs and see if um, you got the link from Shelly. She sent it directly to you, and then it should just be clickable that way. And thank you, Bobby. Um, what about a little bitty hint, says Tara Williams. Ooh, you tricky little thing. Um, a hint. Okay, sugared blossom. There's your hint. Anybody want to guess what sugared blossom is? What will you do with Abby while you're away? Betty, Matt's sister, um, Janae, and she has, um, so her, my nephew and niece are both having birthdays while we're gone. And so they are actually, well, actually that's not true. One is right before I leave and then one is right when I get home. But um, they, they are a patient bunch, Diane. You don't have to worry about them whatsoever. And they're used to this kind of stuff happening all the time. Um, Sugared Blossom. What are we saying? What are we saying? Honey. Yes. Let's have honey. Let's have honey on our biscuits. That's what it is. Josie and I are going to eat some honey on our biscuits. <laughs> what was their business? Not much. Oh. Um, so, um, what was the job? Oh, so Janae, Matt's sister and her family are all staying here. And since we have a pool, they're going to have a little birthday party. My niece will be turning 11 and um, my Connor will be um, turning 20. So they're staying with Abby so we don't have to board her anymore. Um, they're going to do the, the watering and, and taking care. She's at works for a school, an elementary school. So she'll be able to, she's out. So she'll be able to be here in between when Connor's house sitting. And anyway, they're going to enjoy the pool while no one's here enjoying it. A paint color. That sounds odd, Janet. <laughs> Sugar Blossom, a new transfer, a new texture item. Oh, yes, I do believe you let a hint slip out about a month ago. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Been a long time coming. But for those of you that love to, um, those of you that are on here and either in my group or you like to create things, you are probably really going to love what we have to say. Um, and the reason I asked Josie to come on here with me is because, um, did you call in the 21st and the 29th? Ooh, a lip gloss. So close. Um, well, Josie's just a dear friend. And they asked me several years ago to private, if they've, would private label palette knives and they we've since then we've done the water girl we've done all of our vip we actually have another brush coming out i'm excited to show you um maybe shelly saw my post about the new transfers we're coming out with maybe so maybe so let's play a hot cold game <laughs> yours are the 26th and the third it's hard to use to skincare line delisa oh Really? All right. I'm going to try it once more. Um, hang on. Let me, let me, um, hold on. Okay. Well, let's try it again there. Copy to clipboard. Let's see. Diane is still working. Michelle's helping her. Uh, I think the link was broken. It had nothing to do with Diane and everything to do with the link broke. Um, so we're going to try this. Try this again. All right. Um, Michelle, I just posted the updated one. Paint that smells like flowers. The chalk sticks. You guys know I've been working so hard on those chalk sticks. I had to scroll up to find the link tab. I'll wait until Sunday to tell people what the name of your new brush is. Yep, let's wait. 
I love surprises. I'm one of those. I'm one of those kids that even if I could have unwrapped my Christmas presents, I would have never because I love surprises. She names a paintbrush after more Matt. Rob, you know that's coming, don't you? Like you know it is. Because, well, he'll he'll get that idea. Don't you plant that seed in his brain? Because then he'll he'll have to text Jerry and be like, "Hey, Jerry, where's my brush?" Mr. Pixie, he's got his own name. His name's on all the th on all the things. <laughs> you saw the brush I used it the other day, but I'm not going to tell you the name. Or did I tell you the name? I I don't know. I get so excited, Josie. We get stuff. We get excited. Shoot, did you tell Robert about more Matt? <laughs> <laughs> More Matt will have it. He'll be he'll be texting Jer. I really want the VIP brush. Oh, Colleen, it's it's a game changer. Uh, you guys, you guys just popping on. We um we had Bobby on earlier, um and we are now bringing on Diane. Do y'all hear her? She's so odd. Um, we're bringing on Diane. Uh, the the link was messing up a second ago, so. Call it Roberto. His name is Robert Matthew, so he does have a few people that call him Roberto. You miss more Matt. Oh, Cheryl. We'll have him come on on Sunday with Josie and I. The VIP is $74 in Canada. Wow, I am so sorry for that. Um, Michelle, have you been able to converse with her? Is she having any luck at all? Or is the link still taking her to YouTube? So the StreamYard link was taking her to YouTube as opposed to bringing her on here. What's up with that? It worked for Bobby, didn't it? But who knows? Who knows? Colleen Nolan, follow my show on Thursday afternoons because we give away brushes during the show. Um, so Josie on Paint Pixie, they just came out with their new live show called um, The Frustrated Creative. Is that what it is? Bobby, Betty, I'm really loving your guesses, sister. I'm really loving it. Uh, what does it cost in the U.S.? Katie, hi, dear. Hi, Katie Ryan. The VIP is the six-inch brush, and it is $53. That's what it retails for. Um, it's the one that I use to base coat almost every single piece of furniture. I also use it um, when I'm making flowers. Not this one. I did that one by hand. Um the Frustrated Creator. Yes, it's at four o'clock Pacific time every single week. Um, and I would think I'm going to be on in a couple of weeks. Yeah, catch it. Catch it, catch it. We'll give away a VIP when you're my guest, Dion, in July. Okay, so if you'll watch at four o'clock. Um, all right. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you, Diane, if you're listening right now, is if you can um, use Google Chrome, it often will work a little bit better. So I don't know if you have that browser on your phone. You're welcome to send me a message and I can communicate with you if you want to message me. Thank you, Josie, for making an event. Thanks, guys, for hanging in there. You guys, oh, here we go. Let's see, Let's see if this is Diane. Yeah, it is Diane. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I was having so much trouble. I'm so sorry, guys. You don't have to apologize at all. Promise you, there's nothing you could do that hasn't already happened. <laughs> and we are so patient and so kind. I promise you, it's all okay. I have, main... I have my contacts in, and so it's part of the problem. I'm so sorry. And I'm technically challenged. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't you say that anymore, <laughs> sweetie. It's all okay. I hug you. You're all all right. Karen Frazier's here. Bobby's here. And they're saying, yay, welcome to you. We're so glad you're here. Tell everybody where you are, what you do, and your business name. Um, I am in Syracuse, New York. Um, it's a Finger Lake country um, of central New York. Um, so we have a lot of wineries and rolling hills here. Um, it's beautiful. very beautiful. And um, my business is Faithful Furniture. Um, so I, I paint furniture um, and I'm starting to learn on canvas. Um, I also have a day job. So I screen yeah. sales for cancer. So I do this um, part time. 
Um, I'm a vendor in Smith and Bell Trading Company. So I, um, I have a double space now. So it's going really well there. So yeah, and yes. I'm in Empowered by Design with you. And it's been amazing. Um, just just an amazing journey. Um, amazing people and um, so glad to be here. So do you identify yourself as a as like a scientist if you screen cells for cancer? I guess so. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm curious. So I identify um, disease, I, normal and healthy cells. And then we um, review it a double headed with the pathologist who makes the like we do the preliminary screening and then they um, do the final sign out. So I do love it. It's been great, a great career. Um, and then, um, and then I found this, you know, creativity, um, a, a new sprout in my life and it's, been, it's really been wonderful. Um, so yeah. Have you, do you find that when you get home after a long day that switching into creative mode from such a technical, I mean, you, you, you're, you're not in a place where you can really make mistakes in your day job. Right, right, right. I think. Um, it is, um, it's in my nature because of my job to try to, um, be a perfectionist, if you would, I suppose. Um, but I really do enjoy the creativity, um, discovering this new part of myself that's, um, that I have time for now in my life. My children are grown now, so, yeah. so I have a little bit more time and I just, I just am very fascinated with, um, you know, with how um, we do discover more about ourselves in the, as we, you know, grow older. And, um, so it's, it's, it's really been a discovery of myself. Um, and I, I think I, you know, you know, that I did write a book, which is still yeah. in, in, um, editing and everything, but yeah, it was a healing journey after a long marriage, uh, and a, a divorce. Um, and I felt like that unloved piece of furniture for a very long time. So, um, faith filled furniture formed really as a therapy for myself. And, um, and I started blossoming, um, in the process and it was really amazing. Um, so I really, um, have a passion for people, compassion for people, um, to, when I see furniture, I see what can it bring joy to people. And, and, and that's what it's really done. It bring joy. You know, I see people see the transformations, you know, the before and after. And it's just been a joy, a very joyful experience. And I'm like, how can I bring um, goodness out of this, out of my pain? Absolutely. And, and I know I, that I know Becca's on here and she said, hi, Diane, with a heart. Hi, and I know that she's your beautiful retailer and that she you've learned a lot from her, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, she's just been amazing. I really reached out to her in the beginning and um, she just with open arms really just took me under her wings and she taught me so much and I, you know, so I, I was in her shop today. So, <laughs> oh, I love that Becca. We miss you. I haven't got to talk to Becca in a while, but you know, she was on, she was on our video and did a walkthrough of her beautiful store before for us. Gorgeous. Yes, absolutely. She's a, she is one talented lady and has a lot going on for her right now. Absolutely. Um, they want to know how it is that you have grown children. Guys, she has four <laughs> grandbabies. I do. So I started young. I, I was a young mom. Um, I, I was married for almost 25 years. So I, I you know, I had a full life. I, um, love being, um, you know, raising my children and, um, family life, you know, so, so yeah. So, you know, transfers, life happens and, you know, and, that was part of my book process. My kids were, they were all growing up and they found beautiful spouses and they all got married themselves. So, um, which I'm so grateful for those blessings of, you know, great, um, new children that I have now. Um, but yeah, um, it was just really a time for me to, um, to touch base with, um, moving forward. And yeah. so it was a really spiritual journey. And um, one that um, really um, changed changed my life and um, drew, drew me deeper into friendship with with my Lord, you know. And 
Um, so with Faithful Furniture, it was kind of a blossom at the end of that writing process. And um, I just love how God works. I say that all the time. I think it's one of the things I say all the time is I just love how God works because, um, you know, through goodness and one connection makes another connection. I thought I met Becca and she led me to you. And then she led me to Shelly who helps me out. And then Shelly led me to someone else who helps me out with my book. And it's just, that's the ripple effect of how, you know, God works in our lives. And I'm fascinated by people's stories. And, um, you know, so I hope to use it, my furniture, um, as just like a light, maybe a reminder of um, how people can keep growing and keep um, discovering more about themselves. And yeah. um, when when life throws them a curveball or something, you know, that um, there's, they can get back up. And, um, you know, so I know that I know that you have, as you have been working on healing from your wounds, you have been very intentional about helping others and trying to lead a, you know, lead the way or kind of help them carve their path for how they too can overcome things and work through. It will be brutal. It mm -hmm. will be brutal at times. So you've basically documented a lot of this um, in, in your book. Um, and we, of course, I will look forward to that. And I promise you, I will be purchasing that book to support you. And I am looking forward to it truly. Um, but because of all of this, this creativity that's blossomed out of you, um, it's kind of spilled out and onto pieces like what's behind you that everybody is dying to see a little bit better. If they could take a look at that piece, can you, can you bring that? us closer to it? I sure can. Um, I will do my best not to lose anybody again. Um, I think um, technology, okay. technology is my weakest link here, um, but I don't know if you can see it. Um, I, it's, yes. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm in my garage, so. Um, You're okay. You're and, okay. And so this was just a really beautiful piece. And um, I just, it's like my Beauty and the Beast piece, I guess. Um, and just we just wanted to use it to um, for the right person. You know, the right person is going to um, find a lot of joy in that piece. And and I hope that it really reminds someone that they are a beauty themselves. You know, so um, I, I don't always do this on my furniture, but yeah. I like to I like to take chances. Um, I'm really I try to be brave with like when I get a pair of doors like that or a really pretty piece. So what can I do with that? You know, um, yeah, it's an incredible piece. And you you've just started doing flowers over the last couple of months. You just kind of mm -hmm. jumped in there and went for it. And they feel it feels really good to you to do flowers. It does. It does. I think it's just part of um, what what my heart feels, you know, and mm -hmm. So I do, I do a lot of farmhouse. I do a lot of neutrals. I, you know, I do some like two tone textures and, um, yeah. you know, but I like to mix it up every now and then with trying something like this. And, um, also, um, learning on canvas, you know, I'm trying to, to learn on canvas and do some, do some more, um, abstract, abstract, um, type paintings with, with a touch of floral. So it's been a lot it. of fun. I love it. Such a beautiful piece. Um, it will sell quickly. I know it. So you're going you're gonna to be taking it up to and then let everybody know where you um, are located, where you sell your work too. Oh, okay. So I'm at Smith and Bell Trading Company. I'm, I'm a vendor. Originally, I was trying to find my own, you know, have my own sp um, shop and I did find a place, but it was a little bit too far out. So I emailed a shop that was close to my um, my town right here, right near my house and sent pictures of my work. And they said, just, I was just looking for consignment and they said, well, I think we have something better for you. And I started out in the a back spot, but it was, um, it was not consignment. It was all my own. And then they offered me front space too. So oh. that I've expanded. And uh, so it's been a wonderful experience. That's so. fabulous. That has been a really good experience for you. So when you came into the group, our creative connection, you showed us your garage. That's your working area, right? Like you, you've got yes. it maxed out. Like you, it you've is got some stock. <laughs> yes, I do have a lot, a lot here going on. And I, you know, I am full time, but then I was able to go back and have Mondays off. So Mondays are like pretty much devoted to the furniture business now. So I spend Mondays painting now and so yeah, it's it works out really well because 
the shop um, is open Thursday through Sunday, and um, and I am not um, I they they it's you know they're, it's their shop and they work the shop so it's I am allowed to you know I have my own job you know so it just it's it really works for me and I just I love how God provides you know again like God just makes things happen and uh, you know so. So dreams can still come true and they can, and they're hard sometimes. The thing is, um, you have figured out really how to manage most of this physically by yourself, by having ramps built and by figuring out a way to maneuver the furniture just by yourself. Right? Yes. Yes. I, I actually traded in my, um, beautiful Jeep for a minivan too. So, um, it's just more practical and, um, that worked out really well. Um, and I have had like these dollies built and, um, you know, so a lot of, a lot of dollies under all my furniture and I just, I just roll them around. I have a ramp to, if I need to bring something in, but mostly, mostly things are, you know, are worked on out in my, I have a double garage and I have it insulated and things like that. So perfect. So yeah, perfect. perfect. Tell me what's been your favorite part about this journey over the last year or so. Um, my favorite part um honestly i think like the connections with um the people that i've met um along the way uh, i think that is really what is important to me too i mean i i think like the furniture without the people for me uh, you know and who it touches um yeah it, it's um it's too flat for me you know so i mean i love i i'm probably not going to make the most money and things like that um i i hope i keep growing and things like that but i, I hope it really just touches people you know and i hope it encourages others to look within themselves and whatever their art is that they can you know you know just bring it out of them i mean so you know and live you know whatever is on their heart you know yes. so, Absolutely. And be true to themselves. And yeah. it's got to be pretty rewarding to reach a certain point where you raised your children. Now you've got your grandbabies, which you help out with. You've got parents that you help yeah. with. But when you do get a little window, Diane gets to do what Diane wants to do and make what she wants to do and paint what she wants. And then someone buys that stuff from you. <laughs> Well, I, I hope so. <laughs> um, I, you know, I look forward to um, continuing on this journey and, um, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun and it has been really rewarding to see, to see people take to it. You know, a lot of people have asked for custom work and I've actually had to turn a lot away because, you know, it's just of time, you know, so, you know, maybe someday I will be able to, to take on more, um, but it's a good balance right now and it's working. So I hope that encourages others. I know there's a lot of people out there who are trying to do the same thing, you know, doing a, a job and, and trying to um, also do furniture. So absolutely. I would say that the connections, like people just being right here, needing to hear your story, because whether you realize it or not, or if you think to yourself, I don't have much to say, let's say you're thinking, I'm just, you know, I don't have a whole lot going on. The thing is, each and every one of you has a story that's inspiring. I came on here right when I got on here and I said, some of you have just got a booth. Some of you have opened brick and mortar. Some of you have literally just painted your first piece. Some of you sold a canvas for the first time this week. Mm -hmm. Some of you opened a new paint line. Like some of you are doing things and it's hard and it's scary, but you're chasing your dreams. And so the other people that are watching you, you need to know they're watching and they're inspired by you and they find power and they find self-esteem and they're like, okay, you know, and just <laughs> hearing you talk about it and your struggles, because there are, there, of course there's challenges. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to build ramps to move furniture you because yep. you're a little tiny. I can't, I've never <laughs> met you, but I know you're a little tiny thing. <laughs> yeah. You just have to, um, you just got to keep going, you know, and, um, and then when it all comes together, you know, it just, you're like, you know, yeah, that's why I did that, you know, you know, so, um, but there, it's a process, it's a process, you know, there's an organization, you know, like I know I had to get organized and, um, you know, get, you know, then get bookkeeping and all the, all the things you have to do. Um, and then, and then take the time to, to enjoy it. I think I love, 
the two things that I love the most in Empowered by Design, the techniques, of course, like the painting techniques was one of my favorites. Um, Thank you. I love getting in the, the zone of like learning, you know, more about how to be a better French painter and, and paint on canvas. Um, but I also think like branding. Um, I was just fascinated to see how it was so spot on, like as everybody kept sh sharing their boards and and really like revealing who they were, you know, and you could, it was beautiful, you know? So yeah. um, it was a great tool that I I never knew existed, you know, when you, when you taught us that. And um, so. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I know exactly what you mean. And what I have found is branding has been the number one topic for a lot of people inside the group because there's a bunch of not only because we come off of motivate or a mindset after that, and which is right. definitely important, but with branding, you end up finding so much about yourself. And, you know, some mm -hmm. of us will we just jump into a business and we just go. We don't actually think mm -hmm. about what story we want our business to tell. What story do we want it to say to our potential customers? And, um, you know, you have to kind of think about it. And then we find out more about ourselves. We take the Enneagram test. We take art yeah. quizzes. We do all these fun things. Um, but, Diane, you've been an absolute pleasure to meet. I'm so glad that you found Becca and that Becca, Becca sent you to me. Um, you couldn't have found anybody more qualified and better than Miss Becca. Um, because I've known her now for four years and she just continues to chase her goals and her dreams. And um, it's been wonderful having you on here. I'm glad it finally worked. Thank I you. apologize <laughs> that technology was not working at first, but don't, don't apologize. You did nothing wrong. I want you to, you've done a few lives on your page, um, but I would hope that maybe in the future you'll be doing a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping to do some more um, on my day off. So I was trying to fit it in before work. And I think it was for me, um, I think it might just be a little bit more um, relaxed and, and, and fun for the viewer, you know, to see me more relaxed doing my live. So I think I'll try on my Mondays. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to do some of that. So. Okay. That sounds wonderful. Um, Jeannie Vasquez says, this is my friend, Diane Devine. She's my friend too, Jeannie. Aren't <laughs> we so lucky? Um, Cheryl says, thank you. You're a beautiful soul. And Cindy says, uh, lovely lady. And I cannot wait to read your book when it comes out. Thank you. It'll be my divine heart. My Divine Heart. That's the name of it right there, everybody. Thank you for being here, guys. I Thank appreciate you. you for another Friday night. Next Friday, just as a reminder, we will not be here um, in this setting, at least. I might be at Debbie's, but um, I will be teaching a workshop and doing a little VIP night on a week from today. So um, thank you, everybody. I hope those of you celebrating fathers, whether you are one, you know one, you love one, or you're missing yours. Um, I hope that you can celebrate them and remember the good times. And um, I know for one, I got a good one and I'm so excited to celebrate him um, and my brother. And um, I will of course be missing mine. Uh, but everybody have a great night, have a great weekend, and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks, Diane. I appreciate bye -bye. you, sister. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, darling.